they might have shown it 272176 but it's actually 140,000 over what the actual mileage is if you check out the MOT uh, history it shows where the um, speedo and everything was changed and they and it was at 90,000 it went up to um, 200 odd so 140,000 was added and obviously you don't add mileage when you're trying to sell a lorry or van or anything 140,000 was added to the mileometer and that stayed on the paperwork and it wasn't put back so that's so her actual mileage is about 135,000 miles even though it's recorded in 272 again she runs lovely engines fine um, and there's your front cab Tape on the window, that's just to make it look better. Just in emptying Destiny out, giving a bit of a speed through. Um, got to get all the logs out yet and get about for them. Diesel heater is on and working. Let me show you what it's like so if that's empty. That's the three hub, three ring hub, sink electric pump. That's the water bottles. I feel this can be removed. Ask can this be removed as well? So you end up with a kitchen and a desk going all the way around. This is my extension of my cattery, and that can be completely removed and unscrewed, which would not leave you to have this, this open space desk. So when you open the back doors, you've got your shop counter, or you can have to talk to people, or you can work. You know, with the view. All the top cupboards. This again is a bit of an extension that I made an extra drop down desk for because obviously using that for desk I had to make a makeshift one. And then the loo buckets can go in this bottom cupboard under here. Or again you can remove all that. The bed areas for your cats. They come in through a cat flap at the back, come up through the hole. And then go into the extension, all that can be boarded off. There's the rub there to actually go over the holes. They've got um, a bit of fluff if you want to use it for cats. Nice top cupboards for food and everything at the top. Uh, more emptying out to do. It looks like we leave it in there. Okay, so that's one of the toilet rolls and everything. Your food goes. Double locks on that so it locks up when you're traveling, doesn't open. And there's another one here. Another storage one there. Again, I've got more toilet rolls in there. I'm gonna have to empty out. Uh, I'll do that in a bit. So your nice cupboards at the top there. Your top with the temperature, 7 degrees C at the moment. Got the diesel heater on. This little bit of material here pulls and opens the cat flap on the outside. We'll drop it down so you don't have to see it. It's under bed storage with that cupboard there. And that's where the diesel heater is. There's a Board access to the diesel heater, an extra bit of storage under there. That was going to be originally going to be boarded off. We haven't done that yet. Boarded off so the diesel heater doesn't get crushed or anything. That gives you access from the cupboards underneath. Nice little log burner, pipsqueak log burner. Curtains go across when you're using the loo. When you sit the loo down in there, you know that across. Nobody can see you because it's all blacked out. So that's where I use the loo. And again, like I say, you can have storage under there for it. Or make it so you can actually have remove all that, make a, um, a, a box to put your loo in, and have a seat that comes in and out. So that's what I was going to do originally was have a, a bucket in a sorry, a loo in a box uh, to make a seat to go at the desk, um, kitchen, and the sink storage for your plates, and then this one here for your water. And your gas canister is, and whatever else is in there I haven't got, I've got taken out. What's that? <coughs> Grease through the door. Buy a blanket. The gas canister, all the safety stuff. There's a fire extinguisher in the front. This inverter. There's a 300 watt inverter. Um, green cell needs to be moved up to with this one where we've got the uh, MPPT smart solar charge controller electron um, and then off the idea was to move this one up to there as well but we needed, needed some more cable to have that done 
Clubhouse um, radio MP3 player, CD, um, CD player, I'm sure that is, um, and all the um, batteries and fuse boxes under here, all been done professionally recently, so that's all safe. Uh, batteries are about a year and a half old, they're new. Um, like I say, that's been recently done. So we'll be in fuse and trek and fuse box in and all the wiring in the front is now off the spit charger and 12 volt. So that is now charged from that. Um, there's a disc lock on it. Cat mat. Um, storage buff cab. Enough to put it in boxes or just loose. I just roll my clothes net, it is dry. I've had no wet clothes. <coughs> couple of hooks over here, then under the curtain here, a little window, and a little windowsill storage shaft to put the pens and glasses when you're in bed, and that's where the, the light uh, remote control is. Um, this is a little camera, as so you can see outside the side door. The camera is on the rear doors as well, but it only works one at a time, so I've got it set for the side door. You just turn on to have a look, so you can actually see who's outside in the, in the night. It's night vision and day vision. So you can check who's outside before you open the door. So this is all cattery here. Obviously this can all be removed. So you can actually remove all this out and make makeshifts, whatever you want to do, whether you want to put another uh, bed in the back or put a dog crate in the back. Obviously everything that's important is this side. So all that whole section can be redone. Uh, you can have a garage in the back, whatever you want to do. You can have a double, you know, another, say another bed lap is a settee. All that is redoable, very easy to be unscrewed and, and, and taken out. So, a skylight, just a basic factory fitted, and there's also a four length um, roof rack on the top that my solar panels are on top of. And um, there's two 100 watt solar panels on the roof, um, so that's plenty. It's a bit greater than this to actually plug socket for your um, when it comes off the inverter. Um, and then underneath there is the plug sockets for the camping socket that um, is on the outside. I do have a, um, a camping socket and I've got the wires as well, wire the cable, the camping cable um, that plugs in the outside and it comes through so you've got your 24 volt, your normal plug-in stuff underneath the top of that counter there to just be fitted in there. Um, there is another thing just where you turn the kitchen sink on and off, switch here. And then there's also another cable there for um, 12 volt and everything to come out of. And obviously you've got your extra bit. Nice little curtain rail here. Can be taking it if need be. I've been actually been hanging stuff on it at the moment. I haven't got the curtains on that yet. Um, that's obviously ready to have a little bit of a curtain or obviously you can put blinds on. I've painted the inside white um, from the blue just to make it all tie in a bit better. That's why the inside doors painted white. And then in the back, obviously, we have a shop bit. Let me show you that. Right, let me show you the front. The noise you can hear is the noise it is with the um, there we go. Shop in the back. Sorry, obviously, she's screaming at the moment. She goes squeal because the door's open. So, the back of here, you've got your shop counter. This is going to be removed, so you can just have the desk there. So, you've got your shop counter into the van. This table is up. You've got a pole there that goes between the doors. You can be used to have a shower curtain or to hang things on, little shelves to sell your wares from. The cat flap there. And this is the board that opens the cat flap from down there. Um, this lift up and it's held up by chains. I've got all these little hooks here for like key rings and everything, but I say all this whole section can come out. Um, so you can actually have your garage and your back door as normal. It's all removable. In here, the noise you can hear is the fan belt that needs changing. We have all of her. Um, I've been changing all the pulleys and everything. Still got nothing to do. And we've got the wrong fan belt being put back in by the garage at the moment. So she is um, making a bit of a noise, but you know it's nothing true. So she's fine. Just needs to have her fan belt changed to the right size. There we go. Destiny.